Hey lightweights and thank you for tuning in to my very first video for The Walking Dead. Um, you guys have been asking for this game for quite a while uh, and I kept putting it off because um, I have played part of it. I have not played the whole thing and I don't even think I finished the first season, but I have played part of it. I honestly didn't realize how long the game was. When I was going through my request list, I decided um, to take a look at how much of the game I had actually played versus how much there was. Um, and I thought, I thought I had played a lot more than I actually did. For some reason in my head, I was thinking that the seasons were like the chapters. Um, and then I was talking about it with Mr. Light and I told him kind of what I remembered. And he's, he's like, I don't even think you finished the first season. Um, so I'm, I have no idea how much I actually played. I played it a long time ago, um, and I started it after one of my surgeries, and then when I recovered, I kind of just stopped playing. <laughs> so I don't know how far I got. I'll try to like keep posting you got keep you posted with how like what I recognize and what I don't. Um, pretty much what I remember is something about a drugstore. I think we were in a drugstore for a little while. Um, and then something about a farm with a tractor. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's all I've got. Um, so some stuff might be like jog my memory as I play. Um, but that's all I really remember right now. Obviously, I remember Lee and Clementine. Um, I absolutely adore Lee. So I'm excited to jump back into this, try it again, um, and actually beat it this time because everyone seems to really love this game. I know Mr. Light loves this game. Um, also, the only thing that I wanted to warn you guys about is he owned it, owns currently it digitally. Um, so I am playing on his Xbox. Um, I know that that um, it's on Game Pass, um, but I wasn't really sure how, like, with all this... I wasn't sure the order and stuff because there's like a bunch of seasons and there's something with Michonne and there's something that doesn't have a season name but it has a different name so I wasn't sure so I was like I'm just gonna play on what Mr. Light owns because I thought it would be easier to like understand the order versus trying to figure out like what I needed to download and make sure I played it in the right right order um so there won't be any achievements I don't think because he has beaten the game so I'm assuming the achievements will have already been triggered so um you might notice that. I think that's everything. But as you guys know, I like to be upfront and honest with you about my experiences with the games that I've already played. So I have played part of this, um, and as I play, I'll let you know when things seem familiar or don't. Um, and then hopefully I haven't played as much as I thought I had. So yeah, this was a really long rambling intro. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. And here we go. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Ominous. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning, does it really matter? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me, every time, and what do you say? Silence is a valid option. Every time? Every time. We got what looks like a 1091 e near Peach Tree Exit 285. All cars asked to keep on the lookout for 91 e in the area. I 
followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? You're from Macon then, so you've got an opinion. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Not really, I got much choice, sure. Sure. <laughs> Why do we look so pissed off? Regardless, it's could like, be mm, you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did fuck you or she married the wrong guy. I'm just gonna stay silent. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I mean, this looks pretty important. Pretty much looks like we should be worried about it. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Ah. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. <laughs> so he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. You sound like Goofy. Maybe he was innocent, man, so did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more Look hilarious, out. if I do say so. This other wrong. time. Do we ever find out what happened between Lee and his wife? Do we find out if Lee was actually guilty or not? Uh, oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. My leg. Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. He does not look all right, Lee. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Damn it. Kick, Lee, kick! Should I look around first? I need to drag myself out that window. Oh. Never mind. I kind of thought maybe we could, like, look out. Make sure there's no zombies out there. 
Although he doesn't know about them yet, so that wouldn't make sense. Ooh. Ouch. I feel like we should try to ransack the car a little bit, because when we were flinging all around, I saw that there was like a health kit. First aid kit, that's what they're called in real life. Yes. What's this? Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go load the gun. Because I know that Lee doesn't know this guy is going to be a zombie, but we do, so let's load it. Looks empty. Good thing we have... Lee! It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. You could at least freaking load it. I don't want... <laughs> Officer? I don't want... Okay, let's be careful here. Shit. <laughs> okay, maybe he's not a zombie. Maybe he's just dead. Just like like kicked him in the ah. face or something? Like did I have to shoot him? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. How about some water firstly? You said he was thirsty. Okay, can't go over there. Help! I do remember that Clem is up here. Anybody up there? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. 
Okay, maybe not. What kind of sworn she was. Hmm. Somebody. Yell if you can hear me. Somebody. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. Maybe we should. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. All right. Is there anybody here? Invisible wall. All right, let's look I in there first. I wonder if anybody's home. Okay, just kidding. Hello. Anybody home? Oh, need a little help. So itchy. What the heck? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. I mean, I am an intruder, but I mean no harm. These people might need more help than I do. It's fake. Check that in a second. Oh, Jesus. How are you gonna slip in the the blood puddle when you just like acknowledged it? What's that beeping? Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Whole lot of nothing. Although maybe we should grab one of those forks. We can stab the eyes. <sighs> or we could grab one of these knives and go all Michael Myers. I missed one of these. There are three new messages. All right, machine. I hear you. Relax. That looks like fluff or nutter. Or, well, fluff. You make a fluff and utter sandwich. Or if there's no peanut butter, just make a fluff sandwich! Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. My reaction, exactly. I'm pretty sure I would be saying the same exact thing. What's that beeping? God, their kid lived here. Clementine. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? How long were we out for? Uh, cable's out. So the whole neighborhood is deserted and everything has been picked through already. I feel like we've been out for a long time. All right. There are three, three new, new messages. messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. 
Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Oh, Left boy. 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. <laughs> I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um, look for help before it gets dark and get out of here once the sun goes down. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. I don't know why anyone would choose nighttime. Fuck. Let's go. Stay close to me. That's 
a new record for how quickly it gave me cry. And while I do, now that that sequence has played out, I do remember that. Um, when you're playing this in your early 20s, it was like, oh, that's sad, but it has no emotional impact. But now that I'm... Now that I'm 30 and have a new baby girl who's just turned eight months old two days ago, that hits... <laughs> It's a lot more. <clears throat> oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> we got bigger problems than missing hot dish night. Also, mama's probably not making a hot dish right now. She probably is a hot dish. What's For a matter? zombie. Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? We're looking for help. What's going on? We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy, her babysitter and neighbor. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. I mean, we kind Stay of are now, right? A mistake. <laughs> Even if what we weren't before? Do? I... Your monster's coming. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. I sleep -ish. I love how Lee is stronger with his busted up leg than Chet was. Oh, thanks for helping, Clem. That zombie has a mullet. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. I don't really know why I lied about that. I probably should have just said just some guy, but that seemed... I don't know, that seemed weird. I'm just some creepo guy hanging out with this little girl. Even though that's what we are. So this is, I do remember this. <clears throat> Excuse me, so did I only play like one chapter? Well, no, cause I also hey, remember. Sean, I'm okay, gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Be careful, chat. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We need a place to stay. We just need some help. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, 
Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. What was that about? Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. I didn't. Doesn't matter. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Jumping a fence. I fell. Car accident. I don't remember. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Now we're just out, out of Atlanta, home. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I mean... I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Man got run over, a girl with her guts spilled out, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. Chop There's blankets off. and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... <laughs> Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. No, no, do this to me. I bet, Clem. How far is cry. Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I know it would have been hey, extra weight. Get up. I remember him. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck! Where did... Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a Aww. valuable treat lately. No kidding. 
But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I remember this. I'll ask the girl, maybe let's see how things are done. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I remember this part. Okie dokie, let's explore. Anyways, I know it would be added weight, but since we know her parents are dead, I feel like we should have grabbed that picture frame with the picture of all of them. Because... <clears throat> Clem may think that she's seeing her parents again, but... Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Pretty sure I need to be telling them that, though. Just, just gonna throw that out there. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Got a dog? Seems like those two are getting along. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. That's all we need right about now. All right. We need John Marston to help us build this fence. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn, gotta do what you gotta do. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Sometimes killer be killed, bashed a poor girl's brains in. I had to shoot I had one. To shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not too close with mine. I don't know where my ex-wife is. My parents are in Macon. My brother and my brother. parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right. Now what? I 
checked in here, right? And I couldn't do anything? Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Need any help? What's your plan? Um... Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I uh, think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. This is totally stupid, but whenever I watch shows like this or game play games like this or anything where it's like end of the world type shit, I'm always like, I feel like I need to come up with an emergency plan for like zombies, nuclear bombs, like just some sort of plan so that we know what to do and where to go. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. You're catching dolphin? You. Not a fan of that, Kenny. Not a fan of that. Oh. How'd you sneak out there? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out, on foot, I got a ride. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm, well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family and I guess so was I. Family's important, that's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No, you can't. I don't want it. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! Literally had no attitude!
different if I went after Sean first? Would Duck have died or would I have been able to save them both if I went after Sean first? You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Randomly just starting to give me trophies. A uh, trophies? Achievements again. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Drugs. I definitely saved Duck last time, too. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 Okay. take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Ah, yes. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They will Child, lady, we're okay. There. We have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Why do we have to say that so snarkily? Care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm We're gonna in stay a war out of this. zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a Freeze boy. with him. It's him or it, death. Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. 
What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Would you get up, Lee? Man. You okay? Just great. Thanks. I don't think I am. Shit, my heart. Yeah, maybe we should stop yelling and being loud. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great, you're insane. You know your way you around You know your town. way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, she's pissed about that! It's not damaged. Now this place didn't get looted.
How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just your doing what I dick. had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What do you think about all this? You're from here. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I get why he was panicking like that. I totally understand. But also, like, you didn't know if he was bitter or not, so maybe calm the fuck down. What do you think about all this? He's got a temper. You're from here. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys was got to the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. This doesn't like I can't, I can't think about them in here. Force me to continue with the story because I was not done looking out there. <laughs> the store leads to the back alley. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. First aid kit. There's a photo over there. Aww. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No, I've been 
Sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh, how's Clem gonna feel about this? <laughs> so, Clem, um, I'm a murderer. But... It's for a good reason. Our parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. That's Kane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. <laughs> was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. seem all right to you yeah well maybe not the sick guy yeah we'll keep an eye on him there was that thing in the bathroom it tried to get me i know but you stopped it yeah i did can you do that more well i'm not gonna go looking for him. i mean get the dangerous ones i'm gonna try good have you heard from glenn not in a little while I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. I wanted to see if she had anything to say about hearing that we were a murderer. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um... What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. I knew I loved Lee for a reason! You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them because they're dead. I hope not. It's just complicated. Because they're dead. Oh. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Oh, I didn't mean to be like gone, that. I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. I need to turn the music down. Sometimes when they're talking, the music is way too loud. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. find you a bandage. Dad kept 
the remote for that thing in here someplace. Can we turn the remote on? Let's have a look at that finger. Can we turn the remote on? Can we use the remote to turn the TV Let's on? Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Am I honest Lee. with her? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Turn that sucker on. Let's see if we get any news. That's what I figured. You never know, there could be emergency broadcast, right? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Alright, um... Are the keys in here? Or maybe they're hanging out there? Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I feel like I gotta be honest with her. Was he bad? He was. I hope that was the right, right decision. Alright, we gotta find the keys. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's all melted now. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Um... 
it happened Excuse me. Fast, I, I tried to save him. But I can't you... stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happen. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I we guess. tried to go save him. Don't be lumping me in with you. You ran away. I did not. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Is that supposed to be the same Glenn? Until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Is that Glenn the same Glenn from the show? Or is it supposed to be the same Glenn from the show? I'm just collecting candy bars. Hey there. Hi. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. <laughs> You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. No. Despite the circumstances. <laughs> so yep. awkward. We'll sit tight. Okay. Oh, she said she's hungry. I'm gonna give her a candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. The pills are in there. I feel like I missed the keys in the office. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. Does it need batteries? There, no there batteries you go. In this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You wouldn't know what a battery was? <laughs> what? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jeez. Be very, very quiet. No! <laughs> 
I can tell him I care. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That oh shit, the that's our brother. Pocket. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Try to get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Yikes. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Seems quiet, though. I got a few of them to take notice. Don't look at me. But not oh, enough. That's the TV they're looking at. I thought they were eyeing me up like a snack. I can't reach that brick. Can I go get the cane? Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. We've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Okay, so... How'd you end up here? We should search that guy over there. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seem like as good a place as any. Oh, friends, family, they around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. All right. Um, can I get him to reach for the brick? I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get the cane and maybe use the cane to like pull the brick towards us. But at least now we know that the keys are there. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> At least you can keep a, a sense of, uh... Oh, is that a battery? 
a sense we just need to get back to Fort of humor. That's we'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. Do I need... What am I getting right now? Second battery. All right. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Do you Go know ahead. how to put batteries in correctly? Yeah, see, these are not put in right. They're put in backwards. Goofy. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Shit! Sorry, guys. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Yeah, but I want... I want the... I want the cane! Fuck. Go back out there and listen. Did I mess it up? I think I messed it up. Shit. Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Are you okay? You handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. Um, I was originally going to try to do all of like an entire chapter per video, but Baby Light is starting to wake up and I have no idea how much is left of this chapter or how long it's gonna take me to figure things out. So um, I'm gonna stop here because it seemed like an okay breaking point. Um, when I pick up again, obviously I'll figure out how to get that brick. I'll figure out how to um, get those keys and we will continue on from there. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying the playthrough so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I do remember all of this part so far, roughly. Obviously, I don't remember how to get the brick or how to get the keys, um, but I do remember being here. Uh, I remember just some like vague inklings of things, like the batteries being backwards, that sort of thing. Um, but obviously, there's still a lot that I don't. So um, this part, I obviously have played through. Uh, we'll see what else I recognize as we go through, but I have a feeling I haven't played much more than this, but I guess we'll, we'll find out. So I hope you're enjoying it. Either way, if you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.